Here's a round talk about something we don't want to show who's gonna stay and who's gonna fall. Right now I'm thinking I'm the best, and I'm looking for some booty to put my hand at rest. Cause I'm writing all day and writing all night. I see girls from the clubs and they act quite a sight. You know I like to get it in their pants, so I walk right up and I say let's dance. One grabs my hand, puts it on her behind. Another says, back off bitch, he's mine. Sounds a confrontation, but also a solution. I work it out in my head, then I say it to them. Relax, girls, it will be alright. I got a lot of stamina, there's no need to bite. Plus I got ten fingers and I got ten toes. Plus I got a tongue, a dick, and a nose. So there's plenty of me to go around. If you want to, we could head uptown. I got my car parked outside. Come on with me and we can take a ride. They agree, so I'm off on my mission. I must have been good tonight, I caught some fish fishing. We all climb in to my Ford car, and I think about my house and video camera. As I'm driving, they just take off their clothes. They're laughing and giggling as they tickle their toes. I'm getting excited when passengers notice. I look in the rear view and they're blowing me kisses. Then all of a sudden, he grabs a wheel. We pair off the road and the tires start to squeal. We bounce off a rock and land in a ditch. What the fuck, Kiki? You fucking bitch. I got hit in the eye. The airbag went off. The girls in the back sound like they're getting off. I take a look in the back and to my surprise, they all had the sexual lust look in their eyes. Then they grab me and they throw me down. They tie up my wrist and say, don't make a sound. I comply because I was frightened, but at the same time, my senses were heightened. Couldn't resist being used like a toy, but it got kind of weird when they're calling me Roy. I said, hold up. My name is Dave. I said, okay, Dave, you're a sex slave. Then a big van pulled up to the accident. They put me inside and started to get what they meant. They were taking me back to their dominator's tower. Whips and chains and hopefully a shower. The evening was nice, but I was feeling dirty. Maybe next time I shouldn't be so flirty. But you know that's the way it goes when you mess with those hoes over here. Hoes over there. Hoes drinking beer with bleach blonde hair. Hoes being sluts. Sluts being hoes. They got big butts and so penny hoes. I was chilling at the party on Friday night. It's probably the evening was just alright. I was drinking and smoking and getting glazed over when I saw the finest booty as it was bent over. I thought, oh my god, it's Jennifer Love Hewitt. And I thought right then that I just had to do it. So I walked right up and I grabbed her ass for a second. It's like shot. I moved too fast. But then she turned around and stuck her tongue down my throat and she caught me by surprise so I almost choked. Nevertheless, I did recover. Meanwhile, she's sticking her hand down on it. My head spinning. I lost the ability to question the situation given to me. Then she started whispering in my ear, baby, I need you please give it to me here. I couldn't refuse because she was being so polite. Plus, this wasn't a situation that happens to me every night, so I complied and we did the deed. After we were done, she said I feel her need. After I woke up, she wasn't there. Neither was my wallet. This wasn't fair. Top of all this, I got a call on Monday. It was her dad. He said he had some stuff to say. First of all, I was dead. He was going to shut me down. Then he said I better get out of town. I asked why, but he didn't answer. Instead, he just yelled, shut up, you fucking loser. I didn't know why he was being so mean. That's when he told me his daughter was 14. Holy shit, how was I supposed to know? Did you ever ask? I guess not, no. He said I'm going to bust you with statutory rape.